Making your evenings count. Mastering the evening routine vocabulary. Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting English language learning video. Today, we're going to focus on the evening routine vocabulary. This is an essential part of conversational English as it encompasses a range of activities we do every evening. So, let's get started. Evening routines are activities that we do regularly each evening, just before or after sunset. These can vary widely depending on personal habits, culture, and geographical location. Common evening routines might include cooking dinner, watching TV, or reading a book. By the end of this section, you'll have a clearer understanding of what evening routines might look like. Let's dive into some specific vocabulary and phrases used when talking about evening routines. 1. Dinner, the main meal eaten in the evening. Example, I usually cook dinner around 7 p.m. 2. Relax, to rest or do something that is enjoyable. Example, after dinner, I like to relax by watching a movie. 3. Homework, work that teachers give their students to do at home. Example, my kids do their homework in the evening. 4. Bedtime, the time at which you usually go to bed. Example, my bedtime is usually around 11 p.m. 5. Nightly routine, a series of actions done in the same order every night. Example, my nightly routine includes brushing my teeth and reading a book. Now, let's use these words and phrases to construct full sentences about evening routines. 1. After dinner, I usually relax by reading a book in my living room. 2. I start my nightly routine at 9 p.m. with a warm cup of tea. 3. My kids spend an hour on their homework right after they have their dinner. 4. I set a strict bedtime for myself at 10 p.m. to ensure I get enough sleep. Great job, everyone! Now, it's your turn to practice. Try to create your own sentences using the vocabulary and phrases we've learned today. Remember, practice makes perfect. That's it for today's video on evening routine vocabulary. We hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. Remember, the key to learning is consistent practice. Try to use these words and phrases in your daily conversations to truly master them. Until next time, keep learning and keep practicing. Goodbye.